The day has come, King. It is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature, and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You have done what many would have thought impossible. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a king. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion, its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, all your efforts will have been in vain. Now go. Do what you were born to do. It's here. The darkness has reached Bowerstone. The attack has barely begun, but already we have suffered terrible casualties. We simply weren't ready. If we don't act quickly, there may not be a kingdom left to defend by dawn. We have to get out on the streets, now! Today we fight for Albion! For, for Albion! Albion. Sucker got you good and proper. I'm sure it felt that. Good work there. It's here. It's here. I think whatever's inside them just got fried. Nice one! He's not getting up again. Does that thing ever shut up? Ouch! That must have hurt! We have to find the light bringers. We have to save come. our people. But this is the kingdom of unlight now! This is the kingdom of death! Anymore. Don't two listen crack to shots it. like us, we it might stay in the insane. Don't listen. <laughs> we have to find that bastard and kill it. Just leave us alone. Nice one! He's not getting up again! Death beats its wings for you. I'm taking some serious punishment here! This isn't real. It isn't real. This is a nightmare, right? Someone please tell me it's just a nightmare. Ah, got to get out of here! I'll be sporting using magic, eh? Got it? Good. Hey, 
Joyce, in your death. Do not provoke us with the bone gleam shining from your broken bodies. It is a transgression against the night! I think whatever's inside them just got fried! Just work there! I will be going to cut them all off! That's too many! I think I'm gonna let you hit me! You shall be sight! Where the hell did the sun go? For that! is the most blessed state of being. It Careful. is our These gift to pack a to real you. punch! Oh yes, a nice spell should do the trick against these things! Death beats its wings for you. You are the flowers the children will pick and cast into dead water. Got it? Good. Yes! No armor is stopping you, is it? Careful. They'll keep coming. I'm surprised you're still standing up. Who made you? Crafted such slight, flimsy forms. You, you rip like insect wings in our hands. That was incredible. I'm speechless. I am without speech. You're not touching me with your dark, wispy feelers. No armor is stopping you. Such a lost, lost people. Why do you cry for such alien things? Mercy and help and love have no substance in the dark. How are we supposed to get past it? We need oh, to get past this thing. If only everyone else could come. Are you thinking of your love? How you will never see them again. I can feel it. We're getting close to that thing. Where are you? Show yourself. The lost sheep returns to the flock. No one ever leaves the darkness behind. Children, 
I can't see the children. I only want to care for you. Am I not your father, Tigger? I only want to care for you. Am I not your father, Tigger? the darkness. It's been inside me all this time. But it's light now. I can see the sky. And it's light. <clears throat> I don't think I can fight anymore. It's all over, Walter. We won. We beat it together. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? There was a great king once, the mightiest hero of them all. Remember what you would say. Teach me to be a hero. You've done me proud, boy. You've always done me proud. <sighs> oh, Walter! I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. My people shall never forget what you have done for them. We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last enjoy peace. Farewell, Your Majesty. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. The hero Albion needed. What will you do now? I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, my king. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. But you don't need me anymore. And Albion will heal easier without me. Well, king, old chum, ruler supreme, pal, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. I'm not cut out to be a general. Now, I think I'd like to start traveling again. Or maybe... See if Paige needs any help down in industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of color, devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so. And you did it without becoming a tyrant. The people love you, and you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people, when it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people, and you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise, but you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. 
Perhaps we shall meet again one day, King. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so.